what is up it is morning got the suburban going I'm gonna go plow some snow let's get it Alrighty, did a couple threats videos it's a little dark so you can't really see anything but now we're here at the school pretty good amount mostly but the suburban does pretty dang good for what it is It's called the Allen Arc, and and you start working the snow like that. Instead of doing straight windrows, if you do it on an arc like that, keep your blade at this angle. And now you can use just about the full blade width, but since you're turning, you don't get any spillover. parking block so this is a trailer park that I do uh, it's just a loop to this way and then on the other side same thing loop and over so this one's really awkward you got to push some there and then you've got to push all of it kind of past it gets kind of sloppy but it's not too bad had a breakdown so off boys getting a new snowblower another one it's like Probably closer to six inches now overnight. I plowed this one the other day. So yeah, it's piling up good. So we hit this one. Keep on plowing. Boop, boop. Another one out in Dover. It's your boy Schneider. It's dumping on us. Wow. Here goes the big plow. Out here on the lake. This place hasn't been done at all, so it's like a foot deep. It's pretty light though. Not too bad, this little parking area, and then I'll show you when we get up there. Dude, this thing is legit. Look at all this snow that it's pushing. Holy crap. So it's like, oh, that deep on my muck boots. I'd say eight, 10 inches or so, but this whole parking lot, and then there's a little basketball court. And then over to the shop. This place is pretty big, so it's uh takes some work. But man, this suburban it does some work. We got the, the studded snow tires on it, which make a huge difference. I can do pretty good in two-wheel drive, but man, once you cook it in four, there's no stopping it. station to fill up that new blower and uh, Hoff's truck and a gas can and I filled up the Suburban too and the gauge doesn't work and uh, you know it's kind of going off the miles and uh, we filled it up and I had 0.4 gallons left in the tank so yeah she was empty so uh, we got to get that fixed put the fuel pump in it but we'll get her so yeah we're gonna head on to another place out here and uh out here on Canixie Shores, it's a pretty good amount of snow out here. Also, it is just nuking. It's about 12:30 now, so yeah, probably have to make another round after this. Get about my OG employer, Kathleen, my one of my first clients. Oh yeah. About a golf course on this one. This one's pretty steep. You can't really tell. But it's about an eight degree, eight degree slope. And it stopped halfway, so plow on down. So we just stopped at a. Uh, 
We stopped at AutoZone to get some new wipers. And he's like, hey, do you just want to plow this place for me? So now we're plowing the AutoZone parking lot. Oh yeah, check it out. This place is kind of cool. We're out here in Hope. It's a big house. But uh, see if I can do this one-handed. There's a big retaining wall right here. So I can push and off she goes. Yeah. Alrighty, getting dark now. It's uh, getting dark now. It's about our uh, 12 hour mark for today. And I plowed this place this morning. And look at this. That's like another six inches. Look at all that. That's crazy. So, do this place again, and then I think I'll go home and we hit it again tomorrow. Chevy Power. 